Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's Teachable Moment. In this installment, we go to Panama in the Liga de Baseball Profesional de Panama, where the Astronautas and the Federales are playing a game. And we have a situation for you this week to go along with a play. First, let's take a look at the play and we'll break it down. And, and as always, our Teachable is brought to you by UmCourse.com. Bases loaded. We have a chopper over the pitcher's head. Second baseman tries to backhand the ball and instead deflects it to the shortstop who bobbles the ball and never really gets possession, firm and secure, to uh, to record the out at second base. It's a good call, but uh, this is where we talk about presence and things of this nature. Um, this league has replay. So I'm not really sure how it administers the replay in terms of, you know, the manager came out, said to ask the other umpire for help. They all get together and then they go to replay. That being said, I think this umpire does a really good job getting the initial call right. Um, This is a tricky play because you have to let the ball clear you. You can't go run into the baseball. So the idea that you can get a little closer to this play is is hard. Um, So you have to look through bodies And the umpire does a great job selling the call. He lays a nice, big, one-whacker safe. And then everything goes a little haywire. Um, I like to engage. The the player's going to talk to me. Turning your back on him isn't a great idea. So you you can engage the player. You can talk. They are human beings. You can talk to them. Um, Hey, what did you have there? I I didn't think he got possession. I saw that ball being loose before... Oh, the guy touched the base before you had secure possession. Okay, fine. You know, then the manager's going to come out. But just ignoring and turning your back on the player, it's not a great look. Uh, it makes the players think that you can't communicate. And when players think you can't communicate, you're going to have a harder time dealing with that. That being said, we get this call right. This call is 100% correct. But just understand that the situation handling in the aftermath can be important to how you're perceived as an umpire. Um Everything was calm, and when players come at you and talk to you in a calm way, it's not the worst idea in the world to respond. And you know, because otherwise they're gonna they're gonna give you a harder time than you really than you really need. So let's get on to the next portion of our play, which is situational handling. We're gonna have a rain situation coming up as it's gonna begin to rain, and we don't really do a great job in handling the rain situation. We allow the manager to dictate how things are. So when we get a rain situation, the first thing we want to do is we want to communicate with the pitchers and catchers. Um, Make sure that they understand if there's any issue, let us know. We'll fix it. We'll do the best we can. We also want to stay ahead of the rain if we can. Put turfus any place where there's a little sparkle on 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 the field. And instead what happens in this game is the, the umpires don't get ahead of it, and this is the result. So because the mound has gotten a little bit uh, chunky and probably slippery, the trainer comes out. This is where our home plate umpire needs to be at the mound. He can't be behind the plate monitoring a guy with a napkin cleaning off home plate. Um, need to be at the mound here, and you need to be communicating with the pitcher. Is there anything we can do? Can you want a little diamond dry out here? Because now... What happens is the home team manager, who just happens to be ahead four to two, decides I need uh, to stop the game because it's not safe out here. But if we look like we're getting ahead of this, if we have you know four or five bags of diamond dry um, to fix the field, then you know we don't have the situation. But the field's not getting treatment. Um, the rain accumulates. And now we have a situation where the manager is telling us what to do. That being said, it's not a terrible idea to stop the game here. So this is these are two situations that I think the umpires got 100% right. But it's all about the perception of how it looks. Now, what happens after this delay, they call for the tarp, is you now have a long discussion with the aggrieved manager, the visiting team. So now you're down four to two. They're going to lose this game because the rain's not going to stop. And you have to explain that I didn't pull the tarp until the winning team manager was out on the field. It's a bad look. Um, The crew chief, 
who is the first base umpire, needs to take control of the situation. Um, you know, this is where I always like to say everybody wants to be the crew chief, but there are very few that can handle these situations um, as the way they need to be handled. This is a very tough, tough job, and this is where experience comes into play. You know, it takes hundreds of games, if not thousands, to get a feel for how to handle this. So what, let, let's take a look at, you know, some of the keys. Staying ahead, communicating with the grounds crew, the general manager, uh, the managers of teams, you know, that you're on their side. You have to make them think that you are on their side. Um, and that way, if there's an issue with the mound, we fix it. Um, it's one of those situations where we're not going to wait to the top half of an inning to, to fix, you know, the mound if there's an issue with the mound. The rain can come that quickly that, um, you know, you're going to need to fix things every half inning. You know, maybe you're fixing third base, you know, one half inning. You're fixing second base, another half inning. Then you're doing mound and plate. Then, you know, you're doing first base behind second places where people stand. You know, these are the things that go through your mind so you don't lose the field. Because once you lose the field, no matter even if you get the tarp on, it's going to take hours to fix it. And in a game like this where they might have sold, you know, thousands of tickets, you want to save the gate as, as best you can. So... So that's a key. Get the game going. Obviously, this is an official game, so it's you know they're going to keep the gate regardless. But you you want to try to be able to play nine innings. That is always your goal to take the, when you take the field. It's not oh it looks like it's going to rain at nine o'clock. Let's play five and get out of here. Your goal is to always play nine innings. You never want to have a situation where you tell guys oh I'm just hoping to get five innings in today, and then the next thing you know. <laughs> you know, in the top of the sixth inning, it starts to light rain, and you pull pull the tarp. You know, you're never going to hear the end of it. Old saying, silence can't be quoted. Stuff like that. So we want to be a little more aggressive in handling this rain situation so there's no perception that we're cheating um, or that the other manager's telling us what to do. And uh, the way to do that, again, is to take control. Uh, is to If you de- deem the tarp needs to be on the field, you say so. So that takes us through this edition of The Teachables. Did you uh, know next week's edition is going to feature a play from the North Woods League? How about that? So the North Woods League, the Prospect League, the West Coast League, you can get a job if you go to the Ump Course. Find it at umpcourse.com. Tell them Close Call Sports or Team Accenture, and you're going to get a free gift at the camp. Once again, umpcourse.com, the only place where one out of seven minor league umpires are from, it's the North Woods League, and the only way to get a job there is to go to umpcourse.com. We'll be getting a lot of plays from you guys. We do appreciate it. We're selecting some, and we're going to use them in our teachables. If you have a play that you want us to discuss, tweet us at umpire ejections or email us at info at closecallsports.com. Have a comment on the video, let us know in the comment section below. Like the video, share the video, or tell a friend about us, and we'll thank you so much for supporting all of us here at Close Call Sports. Until next time, happy umpiring, everyone.